In this video, I'm going to show you how to size an off-grid solar system and make a wiring diagram. I will do it in under 5 minutes. This works for a van, a cabin or a small backup system. Let's get started. First, figure out how much power you will use on an average day. List your appliances with their power ratings and hours of use. For the fridge, I'm using a 30% duty cycle, which means the compressor runs 30% of the day roughly 8 hours. A DC fridge will be better. When I add everything up, I get 2600 watt hours per day. Next I want 3 days of autonomy. I multiply the daily use by 3. That gives me 7800 watt hours total. Next I choose the battery voltage based on the inverter's maximum current draw. I recommend 12 or 24 volts for vehicles and 48 volts for cabins or backup systems. If you want a 2000 watt inverter, 12 volts just falls within the green zone. However, if we use 24 volts, the charge controllers need to be half the size, so I'm going with a 24 volt system. The good news is that a 24 volt battery is no longer pricier than putting two 12 volt batteries in series. If you have 12 volt appliances, you can use a 24 to 12 volt converter. Now let's size the battery. I take 7800 watt hours and divide by 25.6 volts nominal and get 305 amp hours. I install three 24 volt 100 amp hour batteries in parallel. I prefer a 24 volt battery over two 12 volt batteries in series because I don't need a separate balancer and batteries in parallel will balance themselves. Next I will size a solar array. Go to PV Watts and enter your location. I'm using Houston, Texas. Click Go and note the latitude. That's the first number. Then use my website calculator to get the tilt angle for the solar panels. For this example, it's 28 degrees for a year round angle. So I will have to supplement with a generator in winter. Back in PV Watts, I enter a 28 degree tilt and check the average sun hours which comes out to 5.17 hours. I size the panels to recharge the 7800 watt hour battery in one day. I divide this by the sun hours to get 1510 watts of solar. I'll round this up to a practical array size. Four panels of 400 watt each makes 1600 watts of solar power. Finding panels at a good price can be tricky, unless you buy a pallet. So I suggest checking with local solar installers where you can pick them up yourself. A typical 400 watt panel might have specs like these. I need the VOC to size the charge controller. I multiply it by 1.25 to get the maximum input voltage for cold conditions. And I get 46.6 volts. With a 100 volt MPPT I can run two panels in series and use two MPPTs, so that's 800 watts per MPPT. At 25.6 volts, that's 31 amps. So I'm using the Victron Smart Solar 130, not the Blue Solar. I connect the panels through a solar disconnect switch. The cable run from the panels to the charge controller is about 45 feet or 14 meters. I use 10 gauge or 6 mm square PV wire to keep the voltage drop under 3%. From the charge controller to the bus bar, the maximum current is 30 amps. With the safety factor, that becomes 38 amps. So I use a 40 amp fuse and an 8 gauge or 10 mm square cable. For the battery side, I place three 24 volt batteries in parallel, each with its own MRBF fuse. From the battery bank, I ran through a large DC breaker to the bus bar. The inverter draws a maximum of 2000 watts, dividing by an efficiency factor of 0.9 and then dividing by 24 volts we get 93 amps. And applying a safety factor I get 116 amps, so I use a 125 amp breaker and the 4 gauge or 25 mm square welding cable. The fuse and cable to the inverter is the same. Do you like this fast paced format or do you prefer a slower version in the next video? Thank you for watching and I will see you in the next one.